first flight is the seven hours. I feel so calm, I love it. Today is the 22nd of November and I have been waiting for this day since forever because I am going to Australia. Me and my brother are en route to the airport right now. Actually, it's gonna be a long, 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 long flight. The longest I've ever flown before is 19 hours to Bali, but I think it will be worth it in the end, of course. After all that travel, we'll be there for two months. I am so, 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 so excited to share what we get up to. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. You're gonna be tired of my Australian accents by the end of this trap. We're checked in, we're in the airport. We got ourselves a Starbucks each. <laughs> and a bag of crisps before we hop on the plane. I'm quite excited for the meals on the plane. I double check, is the vegan option available? It is. So I always get excited to see what there is. First flight is seven hours. That is really long. <laughs> what to expect from a long haul flight but I thought the meals were pretty decent along the way this was the first meal we were stopping over at Dubai but before we stopped over I had my breakfast which was a breakfast veggie wrap we made it to Dubai and I got myself a coconut iced latte just making a little pit stop here we've got a two hour layover and then we're off to Sydney but it's not been too bad so far it currently is in the UK 5 30 so I do feel a bit dead because I haven't had enough sleep. Honestly, I just have not had enough sleep, but hey ho. The food has actually been quite great on the plane. Quite great. I had been to Dubai earlier in this year, actually. So it was just a bit of a throwback to go back to the airport. And I noticed we could see the Burj Khalifa from the airport, which was pretty, pretty cool. Two hours within the flight, we had another meal, which was this plate of food. I put a face mask on, relaxed for a little bit. As a snack, I had a vegan pizza toast at such a random hour in the day, if I could even call it a day. With two hours to spare, time went by and I slept, watched movies, slept, watched movies. And we woke up to another meal, which was this vegan omelette breakfast dish. It was actually very, very delicious. And then we landed in Sydney. But it's a little while later and after waiting to check in, we have finally checked in. We've refreshed up, changed, and we're ready to start the day. Day, we are gonna wander to the Sydney Harbour zone and I think that's like the central part of Sydney not quite familiar with our bearings yet but I'm sure we will do it by the end of this week we had some acai bowls before we checked in earlier this morning which was fabulous I just know I'm gonna have a lot of acai bowls on this trip but it doesn't matter because I love them So, so, so strange seeing a Christmas tree in the middle of summer. Nope. We've done a bit of exploring of the Sydney city centre. Today we've gone to a place called Soul Burger and we've got ourselves a burger. Oh yeah. I've actually cut the most perfect half of the burger. After finishing those lovely burgers, we actually went to a place called Woolworths, which I think is like equivalent to Tesco's in the UK. It's essentially just a supermarket. We picked up some snacks and some protein bars and the plan of action now, guys, there is no plan. We are going to sleep. I know that's a bit bland, mediocre, but we have not slept in about two days, okay? Just because of the situation with the plane and everything like that, we have not slept. So we thought it would be a better idea to just get some sleep and wake up tomorrow, fresh, bright, early for a new day. Good morning. Good morning. So this morning we actually went to find a gym. Successfully, we found a gym called City Gym. It's in Sydney around a place called Darlinghurst, which I thought sounds very Australian, but 
Hi. We came back and I made some post-workout breakfast, which were the pancakes. Using the My Vegan Pancake Mix, I love, love, love that pancake mix. It's just a travel essential because it makes the most perfect pancakes and a fabulous breakfast. But we are on route to Manly. They have a beach there and I think it's quite a simple route. We just need to take a ferry across the Sydney Harbour and it will take us to Manly. That's what I understand, but we will soon find out. We're staying around an area called Potts Point, which is only around a 20 minute walk away from the Sydney Harbour so we walked ourselves there to get a ferry to Manly and arrived. Wow blue skies. So we stopped at a lunch place. We're having some rice bowls. I've got the tofu rice bowl and it looks delicious. Nice and full from that little bowl but we've gone for some protein smoothies for some extra protein and we're headed to the beach so yeah I love that for us. We are currently in Ferry Bower Beach and it's a rock pool. It's very nice, it's just opposite the Manly Beach. So relaxed, I feel so calm, I love it. Um, but we are going to, where's the other beach called now? Shelly Beach. This is a beach kind of day. It's a beach kind of day. I genuinely still can't get over the Christmas trees everywhere. <gasps> Finished on the beach and we're actually walking through the botanical gardens next to the Sydney Harbour. Heading home now, we are just going to make a meal at home because we just had a relaxing beach day. Tomorrow is a new day. Hello. So, I'm in my Christmas pyjamas. It is the morning here. I thought I'd bring some Christmas pyjamas with me. I've got multiple in an attempt to feel Christmas here. It's still quite odd that it's sunny and on the Christmas period, the festive period. But we are going to this place where we may feel a little bit more Christmasy today. We are currently off to the gym though. So I'm gonna change into some jewelry. We are currently gymming at City Gym in Sydney. Stop what you're doing right there because if you're admiring this set, Gymshark have their Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales going and on. And through the majority of this remaining a week for the sales. So I definitely recommend checking them out. I will leave the links down below. And I'm just following the plan that my boyfriend has set for me and I'm doing a four day split whilst I'm out here. Today I did an upper body day and then we headed to our breakfast spot. We have finished up from the gym. We've stopped off at a place called Oh My Days Glebe and it's a vegan bakery. Amazing pastries guys, amazing. We're going for the two Lotus Biscoff wheels. So I'm interested to see what it's like. Guys, what? is this. Hello. Biscoff heaven and apparently they've got Biscoff filled inside as well. Are you kidding me? I am mesmerized by this. I haven't seen anything like it. I am going to cut this open. <laughs> Alrighty, so we have come back to our Airbnb after that amazing pastry place. We are exploring a few of the other towns in Sydney. I think it's called The Rock, the first destination, and Darling, is it Darling Harbour? Darling Harbour, it's called? Yeah. It sounds like something from Finding Nemo. I love it. I really quite like the vibe in Sydney. It's got a bit of the city, a bit of nature. You've got the beaches and all of the trendy cafes and food spots. It's an overall great city. We walked around the rocks and under the Sydney Harbour Bridge and had a little explore. We are currently en route to immerse ourselves in a summery winter wonderland which I love the idea of. I'm really quite interested to see how it is. I really don't know what we experienced but it was highly recommended to come visit this place and it was worth it. It did bring a little bit of joy to our lives. Welcome to Naughty Lane. <laughs> Essentially what we experienced outside was a winter on land and we've now come out to eat in the cafe. I got myself a turkey salad and some chips on the side and then we're going to go back outside and explore. 
It's been a little while later and we've actually come by the Darling Harbour and we're exploring by here. It's actually very, very cute. I didn't think that it would be so fabulous as it is. <laughs> Honestly, it's so cute. I'm it's loving fabulous. it. I'm loving it. They're currently playing Christmas songs in the mall and I'm obsessed. This was the fit for today, by the way, guys. Good morning, Good morning USA. USA! I keep singing this because I encountered it in a reel and unfortunately Good Morning Oz does not have the same ring to it. Good morning, Good morning Oz! Nope! It is the morning here and we are off to a Bondi, a beach. It is Sunday and we're not going to the gym today, we're just having a rest day at the beach which is lovely. And later today I have actually arranged to meet up with some of you guys. I posted it on my Instagram stories and I checked who might be available to meet at Bondi today at a place called Eden Cafe and some of you said yes which is so lovely because I love meeting you dudes so I'm hoping to do it in every city that we visit in Australia and it's an overall very exciting day we took the route 333 all the way to Bondi Beach and we had a little bit of an explore. It was so iconic to browse around Bondi because I'd seen it in so many pictures on Instagram. It was slightly overcast on this day in comparison to the other days that we've been in Sydney, but we still had a lovely time. 10,000 photos later and we are relaxing in Bondi Beach. I think there's a particular walkway that everybody does here. Is it called the Kugi? to Bronte Walk Lewis. Bondi to Kuji Walk. I think. Right, and I think we may do that a little bit later or on another day, but for now, we're just chilling. We arrived at the Eden Cafe, which we were met by some fabulous girls and some delicious food. There we go. We are at Eden and we've ordered some lunch. Everybody is here. Let's say hi to everyone. If you don't mind me in the camera. Hi. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love that everyone came and it's actually really nice saying. We've all got different bits of food. I think I went for some noodle dish. I can't remember the name of it, but it's delicious. <laughs> I'm sure. We just had a very general conversation of so many different topics, but it was lovely chatting to the girlies, and I'm so glad I met them on this day. We had our rounds of some pickies, and then me and Lewis headed back home. It's a little while later, and after the Bondi Beach, me and Lewis just came home really, and it started raining. It actually started raining, and we're hiding from the rain, hence why we've run away from the UK. And we just decided to stay in for this evening. This will be the last day of the weekly vlog for this weekly vlog, but yeah, I've really enjoyed myself. I have been making some dinner, but I think I'm gonna also help myself to some hair top. I bought it from Woolies. Me and Lewis have actually been in Woolies nearly every single day this week, right Lewis? Yeah. I think we just go in and we just have a fun exploring all the different little bits. Even though they have tailor drop in the UK, but it's so good. I hope you enjoyed our first week in Sydney. Next week we are flying to Melbourne. We've got a few more days in Sydney, but that's what we've got to look forward to. And of course, I'll be showing it in my weekly vlogs. So I hopefully you stay tuned. Christmas.